So today's video, uh, I'm going to walk you through how to set up community login and registration in the single sign-on. So first thing uh, what I'm going to do is I have multiple communities in my org, and if you can see, uh, if I go on the lightning, if I go on the lightning community page, uh, wait, if I go on communities. If I go on all communities, you can see I have multiple communities and one of the community is a category one biking and this community I have created by one of the trailhead. So what I will do is I will go on builders. <clears throat> so in a builder, uh, what we can do is uh, I will open builder and I will also open a workspace. And the first thing we have to do is if I go on my administration and if I go on login and registration here I have to specify that how the login would look like uh, am I going to use a lightning experience builder or I'm going to use a visual force page so let's assume uh, that's the login and then there is a registration section first thing is if you see I have multiple single sign-ons enabled like uh, I have a IBM username Facebook LinkedIn Twitter and so on I will do is let me go on uh, first thing is auth provider so if I go on auth provider I can show you that I have created a multiple auth providers like Facebook github Google LinkedIn Twitter what I will do is just as an example I am going to open let's see, Twitter so when you create an auth provider uh, what you what you can do is either you can get your consumer key and consumer secret of the app you created on Twitter or if you keep it blank Salesforce will use its default uh, Twitter app connected Salesforce has one default for all the single sign up provided important thing is uh, if you see a registration handler I selected this one so if I go on my developer console and I see open the resource so this is the apex class as you can see it has a basically two method it has a create method and it has a update user method and in create method <coughs> if you see uh, there are multiple boilerplate uh, that okay when you're trying to create a user uh, automatically because of the single sign-on you first have to create an account uh, either you use existing one or new one I have selected a give me existing account you can create a contact after a contact creation you can create a user now while creating a user we have to set up a like profile name username email and everything and then you have to return the user what happens is uh, once the user is logging on because of both any auth provider on the user record if I go on my user record I have a multiple but for an example let's say this one so on the user record uh, if you see third party account links this is where it will show you the list of all the account like Facebook Twitter and that's how Salesforce would be able to see that do they need to call create user method or this Apex uh, registration handler needs to call update user if the link exists uh, on the user record like here update method would be called if the link does not exist uh, create user would be called so that's how the user record gets created how you can have a multiple single sign on here like I let me go on auth providers sorry go here so you can see this is how you can enable or disable and then um, what I have done in my case is I said okay my login page should be the uh, lightning uh, experience builder page and what we can do is this is the URL of my community so community URL you can you can search for give me all the communities and in the can this is the URL of the community I will open this URL in my incognito window and as you can see this is the login widget that appears and as you can see all the login Facebook LinkedIn everything is appearing here so this is how the single sign-on for all you can see the social sign-on for the community users you can enable and this is the auth provider that you have to do uh, an auth provider sample code is available everywhere so once that is done uh, the more main important here is what do you want to enable self-registration or not now this setting not a member if I click here it opens this visual force page 
and as you can see in the visual force page i have added a temporary uh, text just to identify this is really the right registration page or not because i have multiple communities and i have a multiple visual force page for the self registration so what i have done here is this is the visual force page and you can see test here jit youtube let's say if i save this and if i come back here and refresh this you can see this is how it looks like now the code for uh, the controller here is almost similar to what you have in the auth provider here as well uh, so here also in the registration handler you have a two method while creating a user you have to create you have to either use existing account create a new account create a contact create a user associate account with so in the user record if you see i have provided a contact id little bit similar needs to happen in the visual force registration page as well as you can see they are creating a user to create a user they need uh, if you see they are creating all the user and there are we might need to change this one but the important while you are creating a user you have to associate that user with account and contact we have to change this code basically however this is not really used nowadays because visual force is not in picture so what i'm going to do now is the other way that this page is going to change is we can use a community or the lightning registration what you can do is you can again go in administration and you can go in the registration page okay and here you can see instead of visual force page you can say experience page builder there would be only one at the moment as you can see self register so i'm going to use this one and i'm going to save this now another interesting setting in community is as you can see that allow external user to self register and in by default you can say that all the new user is going to have this profile and all the new user is going to be associated with this account so in my case i have said okay this is the bucket account for all the community now what we have to do is <clears throat> we have to go here and we have to publish so once i publish i can refresh this page I will go on the login page again i will say okay i'm not a member please allow me to self-register and you can see this time instead of the visual force page this page comes up so the question is can we update this so yes we can do it so right now i am again in the builder community builder you go ahead here and in the login section you see the register page now if you click here the property window will appear here on the right side and you can see for an example let's say i don't want to allow choose password right now password needs to be chosen once the user provide first name last name and salesforce is going to send an email other thing is you can provide the account id here if you are not providing account id the account id is going to be used from this account so that's how you configure it uh, let's save this i say publish and, uh, once you are able to publish the community you go back control shift r now you can see uh, we have only first name last name and email so interesting setting you can change here for the self registration is you can provide a field set name if you want to have a custom field and this is the registration confirmation email this is what they are gonna send and all the tool tips are here start url as you can see this page user c after registration is successful so i hope uh, this video is helpful for you just to recap what we did is we have a multiple community we have single auth provider in a community you can select how many ways they can log in so this user and password it shows ibm because it's my org name uh, but it would be your org standard sales username and password screen then it's a social sign on e social sign on needs to have apex based auth provider how uh, salesforce will know that which method they have to call create user method or the update user method that is uh, that is possible using the third party linked related list on the user record you can also have a registration page either you can have visual force page very custom or you can have a salesforce out of the box uh, experience page builder and that's it hope you enjoyed it uh, see you next time